here is the sort of pattern thing now. Uh, I'm going to take out these guys. And then I'm going to go down here. Right. And uh, I probably should have taken these guys out first. Because uh, if you take out these guys first, the paragliders have nothing to hold on to. Uh, I'm probably not going to make it now. But yeah. That's the sort of way you want to start this one. I have a funny feeling that I've done this one wrong now, but yeah. Ah, I might have not done it wrong. Let's see. Yeah, I've not done it wrong. See, uh, I'm trying to go the recommended pattern that the game tells. Usually it is one of the quicker ways as well anyway, so... It's a good idea to follow the game's instruction on that. I don't know why, but I really like these, like, dragon sort of guys. Alright. Loads of time left. <laughs> That's not like Ocean Speedway where I messed up. I think they're taking account of the snowmobiles with that huge huge opening but yeah that's how you do the speedway uh, you, uh, that's how you do the speedway proper now we need to find hunt uh, now we need to find another thing actually I'm gonna show this right rope burns after all doesn't it see over there <laughs> they're just spinning up there in the air with nothing to hold on to you can still flame them up there as well, so... <laughs> you want to be an asshole to them. <laughs> I'd have liked it if when you flamed that, it lit up. Anyway, Hunter. Right, this igloo here... Looks so out of place. It's a good reason. I like how that's all he wears to stay warm. Okay. Good job, Spider. <laughs> Looks like you're ready for a more serious challenge. How about a little paragliding? You're not afraid of heights, are you? What he means by good job, by the way, is um every single speedway has an orb challenge and you speak to someone to activate it, you have to actually clear the speedway before they let you do it. Alright. But yeah, paragliding with Hunter. Let's go hey, ahead and do this. I'll tow you behind my snow Maneuver through the rings. Snowmobile, I'd like to point out, it works on water. I don't think this challenge is that tricky. And yet, again, I know a lot of people that have a lot of trouble with it. It's because of that bit there. That bit there where you have to be in the middle. And that bit. Oh, I missed that. Okay. Yeah, that's the thing that bugs a lot of people about these things. I really were good at this place. I've never done it before. <laughs> but yeah, um, a lot of people seem to whine, I know, about this part of the game. I kind of think of it, a lot of people just whine about the parts of the game that aren't traditional spider sort of stuff. Like jumping and flaming and charging. That's kind of unfair. Super Mario 64 slide doesn't get that sort of hit. <coughs> Ooh, that's why. If you just hold the button to go for the other side, you will likely miss the right. I totally did that on purpose. Nah. <laughs> Yeah, that's why people don't like those specific spots, because you have to be right in the middle. And when you let go, Spyro doesn't go into the middle immediately. Oh. I have no clue what happened there. Hey, I, heard I was holding the button. Don't let this be trouble in the trolley again. Right. <laughs> trouble with the trolley, not trouble in the trolley. Um, uh, alright. Got a bit of better sort of flow right now. I actually tempted to turn on the analog stick. 
I've already mentioned I'm playing this game using the D-pad because that's how I grew up playing this game. I'm one of the few people I know who doesn't have a problem with Super Mario 64 DS and this game is probably the reason why. It's my introduction to a 3D platformer used the D-pad. Anyway, that's this finished. <laughs> Way to go, Spyro! You're even better. You weren't on the paragliding thing, that's why. Anyway, that's the speedway complete. I'll be honest, it's not that exciting a speedway. Metro City is really nice. Ocean Speedway is really nice. The one in the the one that's left is really nice, in my opinion. This one's good, but it's not really nice. It's fair. That's not a detriment to it, I just really like, I just, it's still a re really good speedway, I just like other ones more. Anyway, let's finish off this home world. At least, let's go to the final part of it, yeah? Well done. You've heard this. Bring him on! You'll have to jump down the hole on the floor to get to where Ripto and Gulp are waiting. I can help you out a little bit. I tamed a few pterodactyls from Skelos Badlands. They'll be dropping objects that you can use to fight Gulp. Yeah, because unlike Crush, we can't actually damage Gulp. <laughs> we have to use some sort of outside assistance for this one. Alright? Okay, so I will see you in Gulp's Overlook. Gulp, we've finally made Avalar ours. <laughs> You've earned a special reward. Now. Go! What is it, boy? Oh, the fairy. Here you go. <laughs> you singed my cape. Dragon, you are really starting to get on my nerves! <laughs> Say goodbye, flame breath! Go! Lunch time! Go! Finish him off and you can have all the fairies you can eat. I'm going to enjoy this. this song. Gulp's Overlook is probably my favourite boss theme ever. I just really like the battle theme. Anyway, let's actually start this battle. Alright, you'll see those big cannon things on him. Gulp doesn't actually put them to use anytime soon. Okay? So don't worry too much about those right now. All he'll do right now is he'll, keep, he'll just keep trying to body slam you. Your objective, uh, the pterodactyls are all dropping objects for you to use. You've got to try and use those objects, you've got to try and hit gulp with the objects that they give you. Now he starts using those cannons. Okay, that's uh, the first three hits really train you about taking on them with the items. Like, you've been shown how the barrels work, and you've been shown how the bombs work. Now, you're on your own. Right, I'm going to do something here that a lot of people don't seem to know that you can do. And I'm genuinely surprised not many pe more people know about this sort of thing that you can do. Oh, I missed. Alright. Not a big problem. Yeah, you can actually stock up on another rocket right now. The rocket damage does damage you as well, though, so be careful. Alright. From this point onwards, Gulp doesn't actually pause to look up at the pterodactyls. Oh, 
Alright, so now you have to properly battle it. Ooh, that was a pretty big jump spiral got there. Right, that's how my usual tactic goes now. I tend to get a, a rocket. And I tend to try and hit him in, uh, with one of the barrels now. Or, if he's going for something. <laughs> you see Ripto standing up there just watching as well. I like how Gulp looks with that thing on him. Get used to this sort of Gulp fight, by the way, because um, it's not the last time you'll see such a thing. Now, you don't want to do what I'm doing and hurt yourself over and over. I actually need some sort of sheep. Or chickens. That works too. Right, what happens if he gets that? That's what happens. Right, he's going to grab that already. Right. For some reason, that doesn't set off those things as well. Oh, come on. Gulp was in range of that. No. <laughs> yeah, you're also seeing now Gulp can eat the other items and start using them against you. If he eats the um, bomb, then he starts sending off uh, explosions all over. The, uh, then he starts sending explosions all around the place, yeah? If he eats uh, one of the barrels, he gets a sort of flame breath, similar to Spyro's own one. If he eats a rocket, then he does exactly what Spyro's doing with a rocket. He shoots it at you. I think that's what was about to happen, actually. Yeah, here we go. That's not what I was going for. Right, here's what I'm going for. Right. In case I mess up. You can get Gulp to hit himself with a rocket that he fires at you. <laughs> but yeah, that's one of my favourite... That's my fav second favourite battle boss in the game. And that's my favourite piece of music. Spyro, you did it! Whoa! Alora, where'd you come from? I was just outside the castle in Autumn Plains. The castle is now free again. There's no sign of Ripto. And since you've been around, the creatures of Avalar are finally starting to get along. Since you've done so much for Avalar, and since I know you really miss being on vacation, we really wanted to do something nice for you. It's not much, but we hope you like it. Wow, this is great. Aren't you going to join me? Uh, no. I'd like to, but I've got to go check on the professor in the winter tundra. He's still trying to fix the super portal so we can send you home. Oh, that sounds interesting. I think I'll just hang out here for a while and soak up a few rays. Hey, where'd Laura go? I better follow her. He knows he get. Okay, in the winter tundra, this is going to be the ending cutscene, right? I think I've finally come up with a way to access the dragon worlds from the super portal. This power crystal should give us the extra boost that we need. Just a few more calculations to set it up. One plus minus two. I think I have it. Excellent! Everything is finally ready. We're going to need a lot more orbs, but with the power crystal boosting it, the super portal should work again. of me. Well, I'm afraid not. I persuaded that fat bear money bags to sell me a few bombs. Quick, the power crystal. Don't even try it, book boy, or you'll be the world's smartest pile of ashes. Wait, he has no minions or power. How did he persuade money bags? <laughs> this is just what I need for a new scepter. Hunter, do something! Quick! Uh, hey, give that back. Oh. Well, I tried. 
You little fools! After I destroy you all with my new scepter, I'm going to rename this place Riptonia! <laughs> Yep, Ripto's not dead. <laughs> you saw that coming. Welcome to my favourite homeworld in the game. The Winter Tundra. I just love this place. Spyro, Ripto's still alive, and he's locked us out of the castle. Even worse, he's stolen our new power crystal for the super portal. If you can collect enough orbs, You'll be able to get the power crystal back from Ripto, and we can send you to Dragon Shores. Which we totally know the location of. But yeah, I love this sort of home. I love this home world. It's got a brilliant sort of atmosphere towards it. Right, so how many levels are in this place? <laughs> really? That's it? Yeah, Winter Tundra is actually really, really tiny in terms of content. But... That's not stopping, but we're not going to do Winter Tundra. We've got unfinished business in that place. And we need a new move to do it, so... Well, Spyro, it comes down to this. There's only Why one did you sell him my bombs? You, and like all the you silly person. Right. The head bash <coughs> is very simple, really. All you must do is jump, then press the triangle. Yeah, we, we don't need you to... Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, basically what you do here is you press jump, and then you press triangle to hit, hit destroy, uh, to smack down on something again. This rock won't be broken by flame, it won't be broken by charge, it will be broken by this, the head bash. Head bash is easily one of the best techniques in the game, in terms of uh, situational this, it's not that good to be honest, the head bash is pretty meh. It does do a nice job of stopping you in the mid-air, in mid-air vote. Okay. So now that we have the head bash, of course, we're going to go back to our planes and complete the levels we hadn't completed. So I think we'll do them in the reverse order that we encountered them. <laughs> so, here we are. Let's go up here, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to do, um, I think it's Shady Oasis first. We don't actually even need to explore the home world now because we completed the home world, so unlike Summer Forest, this is just going to be those three levels. No messing about in Summer Forest. There might be a fair bit of messing about in Fracture Hills because I think I did get a few gems on that. That were out of the beaten path. So, but yeah, that's all later. And I just went past all three. Uh, <laughs> I know this game very well, I swear. Right. Shady Oasis. No treasure found. That's the first time we've seen that, isn't it? I'm not going to replay the intro.